Hey everyone, my name is Brandon Levine and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to go over a review function built into AM Forms. And the reason why I chose this part of Forms to go over today is because when I was trying to learn about this function myself uh, online, I couldn't find many videos about it. And I believe that organizations may want to take advantage of this before making their forms available to their audience. This reviewing process should be taken advantage of because it allows multiple people to look over the newly created forms for mistakes, missing fields, and any other type of errors. So before we get started, I'm going to provide some context for the process we will be walking through today. So on your screen, you can see that we have a workflow. And that workflow is for a fictional company that we'll be working with today. And Mark, the first person on that workflow, is the person that creates all their company's forms. He is the main content creator. After he's done making the form, he has to send it to Claire and John for a review. Claire and John will then proofread the form to see if the field settings are correctly configured uh, to collect the data uh, and to make sure that overall the form is free of grammatical errors and so on. So once they've completed the review, Mark can then publish the form or do whatever he wants with it. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So now, starting in Mark's role, I've created a rather simple form. It just gathers some basic information from the end user. So as Mark, I think this looks good and is ready for review. So if I go back to our forms and documents screen, I can find the form I just created, which is this YouTube form. I can go ahead and uh, click the icon right next to it. And then at the top, I can click on Start Review. And once I do that, I can then fill out some of these uh, property fields. I can give it a title. I can say YouTube review. I can get a description if I wanted. Please review this form that gathers basic information. Uh, I can set a deadline if I wanted to. Uh, I can add my reviewers here. So we want to add Claire. And we also add, want to add John. And then once we do, do that, we can go ahead and start. And so when that happens, um, I, as Mark, am assigned a new notification up here, which tells me a review is going on. And then my reviewers are assigned a review task and they'll get a similar uh, notification up here as well. So let's go ahead and go into one of our reviewers. So we'll start off with uh, Claire. Let me just go ahead and impersonate Claire. All right, so as Claire, I can see that I have a new, notifi new notification up here. And let me go ahead and go to my inbox so I can go ahead and view the form or view the rest of the notification. And I can see that I was assigned a uh, new review and this is the description, please review this form. So I can go ahead and click on the icon and then view payload. So then the form will pop up and I can start reviewing it. So as Claire, I can go ahead into the edit mode and then I can go ahead and touch up the form to make it look a little better. So I can maybe add some placeholder text in the uh, first name. So I already have it here. I can make this a required field um, and I can apply my changes and I can do this for the rest of the fields, which I will do. So now that I'm done with that, uh, the last thing I want to do as Claire is add a submit button to this form. And I can scroll down and where is that? Here it is. And I can just drag and drop it over to my form and add that to the form. And now that progress has been saved. And the other reviewers can see the changes I made instantaneously. And the last thing I want to do as Claire is going back to our review uh, screen. I can refresh this. And then I'll see all the changes I just made. And I can actually add a couple comments to I want if I wanted to to this form to inform the other reviewers that I made some changes. So I can say made some changes at placeholder text. And then I can enter my change and now all the other reviewers on this uh, form task will 
be able to see my comment. So I'll go ahead and exit out of Claire's mode and I'll go and go ahead and go into John's uh, identity for now. So I'll start playing the role of John. All right, so as John, I can see that I do have a notification up here that lets me know that I have a task going on, a review task going on. And I also have this uh, review task here as well. So I can go view the payload. I can see the comment that Claire made that she added some text or some placeholder text and a submit button. And then outside of that, I think it looks good as John, so I'll say, looks good. No new changes from me. I'll go ahead and submit that. And then I'll go back to the inbox. And one thing I actually forgot to do as Claire was click on this notification uh, button at the top right and then click on the task from here. And then we can actually uh, complete our task once we're finished uh, making our comments or changes to the form. So say, I'm done, no changes from me. And then I'll go ahead and go back to Claire and do a, the similar task, so, or the similar process. All right, so now that we have uh, completed the task on both Claire and John's side, I'll go back to Mark. All right, so now as Mark, we can go ahead and uh, view the payload, uh, see what's happened, what changes has been made. And then Mark can see that you know, people put in placeholder text, someone changed telephone to phone number, and you can read the comments and see what everybody's been saying. He says, thank you, everyone. And Mark can now wrap up the review. He can click on the complete button. Um, but if he wanted, he could also add another reviewer to this process. That way, uh, he can have some more eyes looking at it. But we are, we are going to go ahead and click on the complete option to go ahead and wrap up this uh, task. And the last thing I want to show you guys today is that if we go back to our forms screen, we can see that and we click on the YouTube form, we can go ahead and manage the review. Um, and this kind of gives us a more uh, broader look of the whole process. We can see from here that Claire and John have both completed their form or completed their reviews, sorry. We can also add more reviewers right here, but most importantly, we can go ahead and end the review right here as well. And once we do that, we can click done and the review has been completed. So I want to thank you guys for watching today. Uh, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe to our channel and have a nice day.